Hey, yeah. hey, Welcome yeah. back, it's your boy Heater and the flow sick with the whole fever. It's your boy Huss, say you know that we live. Now drop a like and then be sure to subscribe. Hey, we're back at it, reacting to the great attack on Titan. Where humanity's facing naked cannibalistic giants. Uh -huh. Much love to Rudy Boss, we appreciate your pledge. Now we're not for the track, it's time to react. We're ready for what happens next. Stop. Mr. Kruger, Aaron Kruger. <laughs> Mm. Mm. What does he have this boy delivering? A message to Mikasa. <laughs> At HQ? <laughs> it's a message to Mikasa, though. You're probably right. To the so, squad. Yeah. Let him know what's up. I'm in here. Oh. That's his family right there. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. It's crazy how he used the name Kruger, you know. Aaron Kruger was the one that gave Grisha the sauce. Whoa. The owl. Right. The tigers. Oh. Out here. They seem shocked. Got those red shirts on. Giants. Those giants. Young Welly. Got kids running around everywhere. <笑>でも、我が台湾系一族を紹介させていただこう。<笑><笑> しかし、いますよ。全然の巨人。うん。Which one was it, bro? Perfect. Wow. While talking to an Eldian. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. By us. Mm -hmm. Keep it real. Wow. Mm -hmm. For the sins. The storyline is wicked. He gonna tell the whole truth too. Bro. <laughs> she fell down. She ain't got her uh maybe she's crawling around. Right. Facts. <laughs> Nah, this is more comfortable. <laughs> I'm in my element, fam. <laughs> Dang. It's suicide. And that is all. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga ain't saying nothing. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. It's a disrespect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Facts. Slap him. <laughs> right. Their first mistake. Yeah, right. They're going to repeat the process, ain't they? Right. Turned up on her. <laughs> Turn on the girl. Good job. <laughs> uh, he's turned up right now. <laughs> they talking about it. I want a race. <laughs> uh, they're in trade too. Great. No, a foot race. <laughs> oh. Dang. She, she made it. <laughs> I've already beaten you. Right. Yeah, you can't catch up to 800 saved. Right. 
I'll take out armored trains. Oh, watch trying. Reiner talk down on Gabby. Quick. Your family good already. Mm. So is yours. Mm. Oh. Kept it real. I love you. <laughs> she made it box. Yeah. <laughs> he about to go cry. <laughs> He's lit already. Is that Gabby there though? I'm Zofia. <laughs> 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 with the black cat. Oh, don't do him like that. Straight to the black cat. <laughs> what if we turn up here at the festival? And then turn his on abroad. Oh. From other nations? Mm -hmm. Fix your face. Mm -hmm. Right. She just you didn't hurt. Down. Right. This is me, man. <laughs> <laughs> For what? They're about to blow up something. The Supreme Commander behind the scenes. Yeah, I'm just driving. Right <laughs> I got the keys right now. The burden. his granddad Jaeger remember uh Grisha's dad was a, a doctor his uncle talking about Grice stop playing Right, because I think I know what you're doing, boy. Oh, so he got trust issues. Mm. Right, go home to your family. Oh, do you have regrets? Mm, right, for your daughter. He thinks it's that and not the philosophy he was putting on. Mm-hmm. Right. He's mentally insane. So he's a patient. He's a patient, bro. <laughs> Traumatized from the experience. But he's saying that 
it was too much stress on Grisha to force him to become a doctor. And not the fact that you let my sister get killed and you did nothing about it. Right. Still pushing this Marley doctrine on me. He ain't even consider that. Well, he was brainwashed to the fullest. Facts. Mm. Out there grinding. Trying to entertain these folks. <laughs> With the spin move. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Keep you calm. You're working hard. Oh, he spilled the drink on us. Oh, gosh. Yeah. You're gonna get yourself in trouble. And everybody's looking. I spelt it on myself. Mm. She's one of the tigers, ain't she? Mm. They would have killed you, son. I mean, he is a candidate, but they might have. An Easterner? Or you know? Oriental? Like Mikasa? <coughs> or half Mikasa? Willie! <laughs> yeah, turn up, bro, man. Oh, oh man, represent. No. There's really a whole bunch of nations out here. All right, have a seat. Uh -huh. Thank you, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Can of our saviors. Oh, so the Tigers put down the Fountain Titan. That's why they like Willie. Or the Tigers. Wow. They let everybody in. <laughs> Super Con. <laughs> Alright, like she hit the Henny just now. That ice cream did something to her. Dang. Like a shot. Yo. <laughs> Dang, living it up. Hey. <laughs> Don't say it. Oh, oh I've been so down. sick. I've been so sick just the whole episode for nothing. What you mean? Whew. What I did you felt, think was going to happen? Some big explosion and fight. You got it playing in my mind now. Oh, and you feel <laughs> from their perspective. Oh, movie Tom? Oh, you know. There we go. Mm. Oh, down underneath. Wow. The setup. They're going to cut right down on the ground, bro. That's what you looking for, bro? Oh! Oh! Stop! Let's have a talk! Aiden! Let's have a talk, man! Wow! Now nah, don't show me nothing. Wow! Bro! What the hell are we about to talk about? What do we have to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> well, see, we underground, though. So we can't, we can't box. Right, we nope. can't tighten up. Yeah. So we're gonna have a talk. 
But I thought Mikasa was going to be down there waiting with the blades, like, shink, shink. Oh, uh, um, the real setup. Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And I'm telling Aaron, still might try to do something like that. Uh, I hope not. I got this machete in my back pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he might have a Thule in his pocket. Grow his foot back instantly. <laughs> Box me. Real hands. <laughs> you got to see me like this, bro. In base form. See me in base form. Sir. No, he can't beat him either way. I don't think he beat him in base form, too. Just some hands and feet. Because <laughs> he ain't been training. You know what I'm saying? He been real emotional. On the edge. Yeah. Aaron Kruger's been game planning this thing. Yeah. He's committed to the cause. I'm out here making sneaky plays. Infiltrated the game. For what, though? What are we about to talk about? He called Falco. Yo, can you please go get the vice chief down here? Falco was like, yeah. I can. Say no more. Yeah. Murder's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> I know him. Come with me. <laughs> Come with me. Ain't nobody questioning it. Zeke was like, you got time, bro. You should be straight. The movie ain't starting for another 15 minutes. Yeah. Go see what Falco want. Yeah. Little do they know. The coordinate is here. <laughs> the founding. The attack. Uh, All wrapped in one. The Aaron Yeager. Bro, do you know how risky this plan is from Aaron right now? He blowing his cover. Totally. Which means it what? has to be going down. <laughs> We got snipers on the rooftops. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's surrounded by the Colossal Titan. He might nuke up on you right now. Play around with me. I'll come with us. Upstairs. Oh. So somebody can eat you real quick. I cannot see how Aaron gets Reiner to come down here and then form some kind of alliance Alliance of some kind. I can't see it happening. He could because, you know, Reiner's a little fragile emotionally right now. He could talk real with Aaron. Aaron possibly could be the master manipulator right now if he wanted to be. Aaron's different. There's something different about his whole persona right now. This game plan right here on the enemy's turf, talking to the vice chief of war for the LDN army down here in this cellar, solo dolo. He's got a plan. A leg down? I probably beat you with one leg anyway. Ooh. That's disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even gotta grow my leg back. Do, do. Hit him with that jujitsu. <laughs> yes, sir. It took you out downstairs, bro. Fuck, I sick at the hell out the room. We fuck on. <laughs> For real. We finally get introduced to the Tigers. We met Willie, and he's pretty much the supreme commander of Marley. It's like they're leading this thing, the shadow government controlling Marley. Yeah, Marley asking, you know, are we allowed to do this? Are we allowed to do that? So we can just borrow your Titans and your people for these wolves? Oh, right. right with that? All right. We so ahead. that's something they were saying, wasn't it? Like yeah. they got an army. The Tigers have an army on top of that, like trained forces. We saw the guards draped in red. Well, they own yeah, like everything, yeah. Right. Then you saw Burman with that Yao Ming height open the door. Willie, you got some guests. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, big fella. <laughs> I think I got the wrong house. <laughs> I'm at the wrong door. <laughs> and then the way that he played off who has the Warhammer was so smooth. Who you think is in here, bro? Who you think got it? Who is it, bro? I thought it was Willie. Mm. I don't think it's Willie, though. Mm -mm. It could be somebody we least Grandpa expect. Grandpa Paul, saw Grandpa Paul in there too. He might have asked for that too. Yeah, that's like you know what? Let me get there for thirteen of them <laughs> things real quick. I've been doing my thing for a long time, and I'm still feeling good and youthful. But they got a perfectly well oiled machine. Passed it down from family to family. They got the credit for getting the founding titan dub. But the story is that a man Helos slayed the founding titan, put them hands on him, and made him boogie. Now, at first, I was thinking, was Helos an Ackerman? <laughs> yeah. Could have been Levi out there. Spirit of Marley. But on the real, it was the ones that control this nation on the low. The Tigers, who successfully helped get the founding Titan out of here. Right. But they don't tell the people that. No. That the Tigers really run things. Y'all free. Do whatever. Say whatever. We don't care. Yeah. And they let them do whatever because... They feel bad for what he seems to believe the sins of his people. <clears throat> the story between the Warhammer and the Founding Titan, we got to see that. The real history. The real history. What really history. happened. Yes. Not this perspective or that. I want to see what the king knows. I want to see the replay. Facts. Run Everything. the fight back. <laughs> the Great War. I want to see that. And who was involved. Yeah. I need to see names, families, yeah. conversations. All that. For real. I want to see it all. Because you don't know what to believe. For real. Who's keeping it real or not. But, I mean, I think the Tigers have more intel than everybody else, including the 
Marlene Brash. For sure. They really know what was going on. The Tibers know their entire history. Facts. They can take it all the way back for them you. Bougie Eldians. Mm-hmm. Living good. You see him? You see how they work around? You better not call nobody in this room a devil. Mm-mm. You better respect Willie from yeah. all the other nations. Because they go around to the other nations like, yeah, they Marlins, they tripping. I know we over here, but I'm going to let you know, they, they tripping. That government is wild. And they say, Ken of our savior. When Zeke said he got a dub over him, I'm thinking, oh my God, the Warhammer got a dub over him. So I'm thinking, you know, that could be through more means than just straight hands. It could be hands. It could be persuasion. Difference of philosophy. Collecting the other titans for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they use the Warhammer to get a hold of the armor. Mm. Beat him up. Sacrifice him. Mm. Now y'all got the armor. But I think that makes more sense, though. They used the Warhammer to collect the other ones. Right. What a storyline, though. Deep. You got Eldians allowing other Eldians to be persecuted by Marley. Legit. Letting it happen. Their own people. Mm-hmm. But they feel guilty for how things were being conducted in the past. The Eldians were really thugging against the world. Destroyed and since everything. the Tibers were instrumental, and shutting them down, making them go to paradise. That's why everybody loves Willie. <laughs> or whoever's representing the family. Right. Willie, kin of our savior. Come here, brother man. Right. Y'all made life better. Otto, little buddy with the glasses that ran into the oh, Middle yeah, Eastern yeah. lady. He was or the about Eastern internment zone, like as if there's illness in other countries. This yeah, year too. they have internment zones. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy. Yikes. And that is worse than other ones. You know what I'm saying? Like here in Marley. The hate is bad, but it ain't nowhere near as bad as what Eldians are getting treated like in other countries. That's tough. They ain't got no Titans over there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm, probably out there on the front lines for everybody's army. Right. But they keep them in rotation just in case one day we get lucky. But that could be why they keep Eldians in rotation and monitor when somebody gets born. For potential. Then it was crazy with Peak and Galliard. Bro walked up the stairs. Here she is, looking like she's ready for love. <laughs> Dunk all out in the air. I feel more comfortable like this, bro. All right. I'm a quadruped. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it naturally feels better for me. That's bad. It is what it is. Talk about the level of usage, the amount of mouths they're getting on her. Jeez. <laughs> Dang, for real. Yeah, running her. She oh, because she can stay in her Titan form longer than anybody else, too. So oh, she got that's some, got something to do with it, also. Okay. Yeah. She's got a longevity in the Titan form. Why would she want to do that, though? Unless she had to. She probably thinks she looked bad in there. She probably did. She My Titan's so cute. <laughs> I got the ugliest Titan out of all of them. Big duck My face. Titan's bad. <laughs> <laughs> My Titan got a big old donk. She got a big old donk just by herself. <laughs> Dang. Dagger got horny. <laughs> what, do, uh, what you doing like that? <laughs> Pop, what's wrong, boo? I feel comfortable. Jump on, Pop. What a scene with Aaron. And his grandfather, who's in a psych ward now, who's going through mental trauma for his sins with his kids. Uh, but then, not even equating the fact that Grisha became a restorationist. I thought Zeke, when he came back to the internment zone, saw his grandparents. You trying to sabotage that boy, man? Go home to your family, man. Ooh, looking out Before for you have man. regrets. I'm trying to look out for the young man. Regrets, huh? Do you have any regrets? No. How you did your family? Do you have any regrets, sir? Because he knows everything. Mm -hmm. He saw it from his father's perspective. He did. Bro! He saw it from his dad's That's perspective. That's cold. Grisha got too excited to get outside them walls. But you saw the way he was acting, though? Here he is talking to his daughter's killer in the flesh. My son doesn't know about the sins of our people. I'm gonna fill him in. And that's when Grisha was like, at that moment, I hated these officers and I hated my father. Mm -hmm. Couldn't stand him. Licking butthole, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Grisha couldn't stand his father at that point. The writing in this show, next level. It is. So many different scenarios that you can call back in the past, how they tie in with the story now, even more so than ever. Talk about the sharing of memories and how we can connect a whole bunch of things over and over and over again. Other memories. Other events. Tough. Cause and effect in every way. And we still haven't seen nothing. And I do believe that the Eldians were thugging against the world, though. At the same time, while they were thugging, they were probably doing some good, too. There's another story that says they was actually yeah, helping build roads, bridges and bridges. Worlds, you know? Well, actually, that came from Grisha doing research and pulling up pictures and stuff. But he yeah. couldn't read the language. He was turning up with his own philosophy. Mm -hmm. Look, our people was out here helping people. What you mean? Mm -hmm. Eldians were great. Times were good. I trust Grisha. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Team Grisha's too. Got to go all the way. Team yeah, Grisha. I'm with the good doctor. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I think Aaron's Team Grisha still. He's going along with the mission. My dad done set something up in motion. 
They share a lot of things with me through his memories. And the Eldians within the walls, they feel the same way. Y'all gonna have to feel us. Mm. Killing us like this, got us in the walls. Everybody lying to us. Mm. Y'all sitting here mad at us. We don't even know why y'all hate us. We have no clue. Our memory has been wiped out. And we ignore you all the time about it. So the Eldians within the walls is really doing their own thing. Dang, but it's all predicated on Aaron and his decisions. With having the Founding Titan, who does that go to after Aaron? Because he doesn't have long. It's going to be a two-on-one regardless, right? If it goes to somebody royal, then the will of the first king will overrule whatever type of stuff we're doing. They'll just go back to paradise. Dang, quite a decision to make right there. But because Aaron's not royal blood, he's able to thug out with it, but he can't use it in its fullest extent. But the Eldians are hated everywhere. Maybe the best case scenario is for all the Eldians to go to paradise and tell all these other nations. I wish you would. Another good episode. Looking forward to the next. Holla at your boys, Ralph. Peace. Peace.